Hey, what's going on, guys? Andrew here. Um, I'm using a new camera tonight because I'm having, I'm still having troubles with my uh, my other camera. Um, I try actually had already recorded this video. Um, what was it like? Uh, it was like a week ago almost, and I just frustratingly it, it I recorded it in like six parts. I forgot certain videos. I was just frustrated, so I just decided that I'm going to redo this tonight. So. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. This is my update video for December, and I have a massive haul for this this uh, month. I think it's something like 75 titles or something like that, so I'll try to let this be as, as quick as possible. So, um, let's, let's just get right on to it here. Um, before I get into any of my movies, um, I have a couple collectible things that, that uh, I wanted to get into first. Um, so I, I got a new phone um, for Christmas that I actually have yet to uh, to transfer over to, um, but I actually I went and bought a um, a uh, a cover for it, a phone cover, and um, my cover for it is a uh, Ouija board type thing. And it, the cool thing is, is that this thing even has one of those. Um, um, let me show you here. It has one of those things that you can. Wow, this is weird. That you can play with the Ouija at, you know, kind of thing. It's it's pretty entertaining, pretty interesting. It, I I like that. Kind of a really cool addition type thing. Um, up next, I got a book. Um, cause I I got some money for Christmas and things like that. So I just decided to get some things that I have really had been putting off getting. Um, and that is a Stephen King's Carrie. Um, let me see here if this thing. Yeah, I think. I think I need to come. Yeah, there we go. Great. Um, this is uh, Carrie Stephen King. Um, as you can see here, it's the uh, the from the 2013 remake, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. My favorite remake. Um, yeah, I really really like this um, cover and everything like that. So, and I've never read Carrie, so I'm really curious to get into reading that. And this is going to be my first Stephen King read, also. So, that's going to be fun. Also, my dad and my brother went to a, um, a convention here, Comic-Con convention, actually, here up in Monroeville. Um, and um, Michael Cutlass, who is, um, who is uh, Abraham from The Walking Dead, he, uh, he was there, and my dad got him to sign a, uh, a picture of him. And uh, if you know anything about the show, this is kind of a depressing image, but, you know... Uh, but yeah, this says who's Andy. Uh, one of his things he's always asking people who's who, who's Diana is the most famous one. So who's Andy? It's kind of a hilarious thing, although it's a very depressing picture, very depressing. <coughs> but yeah, and then also last but not least, this is a non horror movie, but I got a collector's edition for it. But it also comes with the movie. But I'll still show it anyways. It's the collector's edition of the gift set for Terminator Genesis. Um, I'd never seen the movie before, but they had this there with this endo skull skeleton um, with the movie on the back here. So you kind of um, just open it up, and the movie's the movie's on the other side of the um, endo skull skeleton there. Um, so yeah. Which is cool because the movie, it comes with, it's a combo pack and it's a slip cover and everything like that. So that's cool. I've always been a big Terminator fan. Um, it's always like sci-fi horror. Um, this one's definitely more action sci-fi horror, um, if there is any horror at all. Um, I really, I, I dug the movie. I thought it was okay. Um, my brother didn't like it, but I, I thought it was pretty fun. I, 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 it's definitely an enjoyable one, one that I'll put on rotation at least once a year. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, I'll get on to some of my movies here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start here with my, um, my non-horrors. Um, got the combo pack of American Pie. I finally got a good addition to American Pie. Um, I really have loved this movie. It's definitely a movie I watched in high school quite a bit, and it was always a fun movie from my childhood. Um, up next is a steel book. Um, I think it's the only steel book that I picked up this month, um, and that is of, you probably won't recognize it unless you're very familiar with the movie, and that is of The Da Vinci Code. Um, yeah, you see on the side there, and this is the back of it. Um, but yeah, this is a 
this is my favorite. Um, it's not a horror movie, but it's a thriller. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, thrillers. It, it definitely has horror elements in it, though. It combines my favorite things. It's a mythology. It combines, like, religious mythology. It twists kind of things, and it's got, like, this elaborate mythology and, like, all this uh, stuff. I just love movies that do that. Um, <laughs> up next is this triple pack here with uh, the Goonies and the first two and two Gremlins. Um, I'm, I really like Gr uh, Goonies. It's a fun movie, and uh, the Gremlins are always really fun too. Although they're definitely more, they're definitely horror. Um, they're horror comedies. So this is it. They're fun. This will definitely be a fun watches for me. Um, they're all on three discs too, and it, it has a slip cover and everything. And they're all on, they're all on individual discs. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, yeah. So there's that, and. So I got one movie that's non-horror that my brother gave to me, and that is Step Brothers. I really like this movie. It's really hilarious, so it's it's a good good thing that I own it. And then I picked these up for super cheap. I just got done watching um, Rogue One. Um, went to see it with my brother, and we went into the, the store, and I was in the middle of buying something. I know it was the Goonies and something else. I bought two things. And then I found these, and super cheap. And it was more, it was kind of an emotional buy, but kind of at the same time wasn't. But I got the Star Wars, these packs. These are both Blu-ray DVD combo packs. So let me show you the, um, uh, I wanna see the originals here. Um, so basically they have, um, they basically have all three of them on um, Blu-ray and then all three of them on DVD. So, all on individual packs. So, and they have slip covers. Alright, and so yeah, I really, really like these packs. They were 20 bucks each, so I could not pass them up. Um, I'm a, a big Star Wars fan, I really like them, so it, it's really, really glad that I own these. Now it's up to finding, like, uh, The Force Awakens for cheap, which my brother owns, but I don't own yet, so, um, yeah. Up next, I'm going to do movies that I got slip covers for. These are movies that I've owned already, but I have slip covers for, and I wanted to show off the slip covers. Um, the, by the way, if you want slip covers, go to Blu-raysforeveryone.com. They have them for uber cheap. Uh, that's where I got these from. I know I got The Exorcist here. This is the anthology, and I wouldn't think that they'd have one for the anthology, but they do. They have it here. It's the complete anthology. They got all the movies in the back, and it kind of just slips on, and... You know, it's one of those ones from the side. So I'm really happy with it. I think it was like four bucks or something like that. So it was super cheap. This one I think was like five bucks, but I think it was worth it. It's for Let Me In. Um, a very underrated movie in my opinion. And I love how, see how this is different. And then this one's different with the finger. But if you go together, they kind of go right in. Like he's like got his fingers. It's so cool. I love that. And it's got this like... I don't know. It's really cool. I love it. Um, up next is one of my personal favorites, and you guys know that. I talk about it to death. My Soul to Take. Um, I didn't even know they had a slip cover for this movie, um, but it makes it look so much cooler, too. Or that much cooler, should I say. And it's just, it's awesome stuff. I love it. Um, up next is uh, The Boy. I got this for Black Friday shopping, and... Yeah, um, basically on the back it's got this, and yeah, so you guys have probably seen this one before with the slip cover, but I just really like it. Um, yeah, the, this is really cool. Last one is not a horror movie, uh, but it, it's Chloe Grace Moretz movie, so um, yeah, it's If I Stay. It is probably one of my favorite non horrors. Um, but yeah, some of the back has pictures that do doesn't have on the regular back of it. I'm really glad to get the slip for that. This was actually what I went searching for for the slip covers, and then I found the other ones that were super cheap too. So I was like, yeah, why not? Um, <clears throat> up next, I'm going to do uh, my um, Christmas related um, horror movies that I got for Christmas. Actually, the first one's not a horror movie. Actually, it is a steel book, so I lied about the only steel book. Um, and that's the Polar Express. Um, this is just pure magic love this movie. It's such a great movie. I love watch it every Christmas. Um, 
Up next is Krampus. Um, this is actually another one I got a slip cover for, but I wanted to show it in my Christmas buys. But yeah, I mean a phenomenal movie. I like it more every time I watch it. And then I got a Christmas Horror Story, which is a fun watch. It's definitely one I'll watch every Christmas, but not too late in Christmas season, but definitely one I will give a watch. Up next is the Vinegar vinegar Syndrome release of uh, Christmas Evil. Um, really good transfer, really good uh, stuff. I really like this movie. It's it's a really, really fun watch. for or Not a fun, but really good watch. I like the movie. Um, up next is a movie that just is fun. It is hilarious. It is awesome, and that's Santa's Slay. Just super fun. Just just pure entertainment. Um, yeah, just 90 minutes of pure entertainment. Um, okay, here. Um, up next, I'm going to do um, buys that... I got just straight online, so I'll, I'll chug through these pretty quickly. Um, I got Argento, Argento's Dracula 3D. I'm a fan of Dario Argento, and I know that this one gets shit on. Um, it's a 3D movie, and it's like a, in, in the style of like Hammer, but it's a Dracula-based movie. I'm thinking I could I could definitely like it. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see. I, I I just blind bought this, so we'll see what it looks like. Um, another one I, I, that went pretty, got pretty cheap, or well, cheaper, and um, that was pieces. It went down to like twenty bucks, so um, you know it comes with the CD and everything, as all Grindhouse releases are. Which, by the way, this was my first Grindhouse buy, I think, um, personal Grindhouse buy. And this, um, yeah, this is a fun film. I watched this once before, and I, I watched it a second time. If you guys watched my movie Marathon with my brother. Which, if you haven't, please go back and watch. It's awesome. Um, this was the last movie we watched in that. So, Up next is a movie that I have yet to see and am looking forward to watching, and that is Cat in the Brain. This is the Grindhouse release of it again. Um, yeah, so th this is one, again, I'm looking forward to. I got it for pretty cheap. Up next is a the Falchi tri triple pack here. This, this comes in a uh, you know all three in separate discs. Which, by the way, um, I think the Cat in the Brain is a two disc. This didn't, the, the CD's not in here. Um, but yeah, ooh, fell out. But yeah, it, it, it comes with two discs, and it has quite a few extra special features in it. It's got, you know, it's still a Falchi there. Um, and yeah, it's got some, I don't know what the, oh, that's basically your regular thing for it. Um, but yeah, so um, you know, I, I, re I re realize that like during some of my a lot of my videos, I don't really you know this is kind of my one time to show off like the you know what I, what comes in the update. But um, this faulty trilogy comes with uh, House by the Cemetery, City of the Living Dead, and the New York Ripper. I have not seen City of the Living Dead or New York Ripper yet, so I'm very much looking forward to watching those. Um, up next is a um, Sergio Martino movie, which um, I actually watched. I actually bought after watching the uh, the podcasts from uh, the Twenty Two Shots of Moods and Horror podcast. Um, and this is Torso. I heard a lot of good things about it, and I know that uh, Derek gave it a ten out of ten. So I'm I'm really like, you know, I got some pretty high expectations for this movie. You know, uh, the way they talked about it and everything sounds pretty twisted and like pr sounds like a very good watch so I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching that one up next is another one that i found from the 22 shots podcast um but is a michael suave so a lot of italian films here um and that is the church i know this is one of his definitely most well-liked movies and it's produced by argento and it's written by argento and michael suave i loved um stage fright so um, I really think I will probably like this movie. I'm looking forward to watching that one. Um, following up my list here of uh, of watches for the uh, for my buys for D this is a DVD here. I don't know why I had some Blu-rays there and now I'm going to DVDs and then I'm going back to Blu-ray. We'll see. Whatever. I don't care. 
Um, this one, this DVD, is a very rare movie, which I never heard about until I found it from a friend on another YouTuber. And that is, do you want to know a secret? Um, this is like a 2002 slasher. No, just 2000. Um, you know, it's one of those post-screen slashers, but it, I guess it's more in line with like a Shredder, which I love Shredder, so... Um, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll watch it. I've never watched it before, so I'm, I'm curious to give it a watch. Up next is uh, another Arrow pickup here, and um, that is for the limited edition of the Hills Have Eyes thing. Now, this is a... if there You can still get a hold of this. I recommend getting this. I mean, I, I'll show you some of the things that it has with it. Um, so it has the movie, and it's your basic release. Um, it's got a one disc, but it's got the reversible cover art to it. So it's got the original cover art. Um, it's got basically all these little cards here. You know, you got a Michael Berryman, and you know, um, I can't Mars, I think is his name. And you got uh, you know a couple posters like uh, from like different countries and everything like that, and they. You know, it's just really, really cool. And then, uh, last but not least, I got something else in here that I wanted to show you um, that I thought was actually the coolest part of this, or the most unique part about it. Because, you know, I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, The Hills Have Eyes, and you know Craven's my favorite director. So, um, this pretty much has, this has, okay, so... This also has a booklet that pretty much tells you anything and everything you want to know about The Hills Have Eyes. And then also you got this thing here, which I'm waiting, obviously you can tell it's a poster, which has the original poster and the reverse cover art for Arrow release. I think this is fantastic. This is one of my favorite releases of all time, to be honest. This is... This is far and beyond, um, you know, a regular release. I, I am glad this was like cheaper. I think it was like twenty-one dollars, and I just picked it up right away. And I just, I am super glad to have picked this one up. Um, so that's gonna take me into my FYE buys, and I'm gonna make sure that I haven't missed any. Um, I think this is all my FYE buys. Um, yeah, because most of my FYE buys were non-horror, as you see my Star Wars one. But this one here, um, this is the Hills Have Eyes remakes. That's why I did the, the Arrow and this one back-to-back. -back. Um, this contains both both uh, Blu-rays for both uh, Hills Have Eyes movies. Um, I noticed that the last time that I watched the, the both of these on my DVD pack, that their tr transfers do not look good at all on DVD. So I decided to upgrade these, plus they were like $15, and I know it's like really rare, this pack here. I think you can only find it at FYE. I have not seen it online or anything. Um, I mean, it, it was just worth the pick up for me, because since I already upgraded the Hills Have Eyes original, I might as well upgrade that one. And then last but not least, surely not least, is the uh, Hills Have Eyes Part 2 from Wes Craven. So... Um, up next is uh, one of my favorite guilty pleasure, well not guilty pleasure, but one of my favorite series is, um, and that's Tremor, Tremors 5. I have the first four on that attack pack, um, which on DVD. Um, I will be upgrading them to Blu-ray here soon, um, but I wanted to get this now. I, th I think it was like $9.99 or something like that, and this was a used, so I could get them, you know, with two more used ones for, you know, one would be a dollar. So, um, yeah, I, I really liked this movie. I thought it was really fun. Um, as all Tremors movies should be. Um, up next is a movie called Cherry Tree. Now, this is a blind buy. Now, I do remember if it was either Moods or if it was Derek or somebody told me that this was a this was a pretty good watch. It was a decent watch. It was it was um, pretty good than than you, better than you were expecting kind of thing. Um, this just has the DV, the Blu-ray. Um, it was like five ninety nine or six ninety nine or something like that. And I was like, you know what? This is a witch movie, and I don't have many witch movies. I just have, like, The Witch and um, um, Lords of Salem, and I can't remember what else, but I don't have that many, and I just was like, you know what, I'll just buy one just to, you know, kind of see what... Oh, I do have another witch movie, which is actually coming up soon. Um, but, yeah, this is another movie that was uh, uh, another one on the uh, used list that I bought. This was the one that was a dollar, and that was Final Destination 2. 
Um, yeah, this is I'm upgrading these ones all to, to Blu-ray, and I, I was debating on whether or not just to get that four pack um, of them or just get them individual, and they're super cheap individual right now, so I just figured what the hell, might as well get it individual. And um, Bleats. My Wes Craven horror collection. I now own every single Wes Craven horror movie he ever made. And this would be Vampires in Brooklyn. So now I, the only ones I don't own right now is Music of the Heart and I had a Fireworks Woman, which is his adult film, but I, I, you can't actually buy that one anymore, I don't think. I've been looking around for it and you can't find it. But um, this is a horror comedy with Eddie Murphy. Um, it's a really fun watch. Just super awesome. It's basically... Dracula retold in a modern setting. It's really, really cool. It's super fun. Um, up next is my Walmart buys. Now, I normally don't like to shop from Walmart for personal reasons, but, um, you know, I, I shopped it. I shopped there this time because um, I, somebody gave me a gift card for it, and so I was just like, yeah, okay, I'll just shop there. Why not? Um, so pretty much I... I had a couple DVDs, and actually I got two two uh, series. So this is going to be interesting. I got the uh, the complete first season, of The Masters of Horror, which I'd never seen any of these episodes before. And it you know it's got John Carpenter, John Landis, um, Joe Dante did this, Toby Hooper, um, and uh, Dario Argento, um, Lucky McGee did something, uh, Dekashi Miike, uh, Don Coscarelli who did uh, who well, you know, he was Phantasm fame. Um, I watched the Argento one, which is Jennifer, which was a weird but and weirdly entertaining at the same time kind of movie. Um, yeah, I was intrigued. And then I bought the first season of Tales from the Crypt, which I have not seen any episodes from Tales from the Crypt. I am sorry. I, I really want to watch these. So I will get to watching these as soon as I can. Um, up next is a... Uh, Actually, I got this one from FYE. I don't know why I put this in here, but I got this one from FYE, and that is Graveyard Shift. Me and my brother watched this one, and it's a fun watch. It's It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, It and... can't remember what else, but it's it's very cool. It's a good killer rat movie, which actually, that's uh, my first killer rat movie, so I shouldn't say I speak from experience there. Up next, um, I got a uh, five Hammer film collection, which I've never seen a Hammer film. So before I watch Dracula 3D, I definitely want to watch these just so I can get familiarized with uh, the Hammer films. Um, yeah, definitely looking forward to those. Up next, I got Storm of the Century, which is a, I guess, a TV miniseries from uh, Stephen King. Um, and then it's got six different movies on it. Yeah, it's got seven movies, but this one's four and a half hours, so I definitely want to watch this like when it's snowing, so it ought to be an interesting watch. And last but not least is actually not a horror movie, but uh, definitely it's based on mythology, so I kind of just whatever. And that's The Odyssey. It's based on Homer's The Odyssey. Um, it's the sequel to Homer's Iliad, and um, basically, this is just the action parts of the Odyssey, but it's it's a very entertaining watch. It's a uh, you know it's a made-for-TV movie, so it's kind of. Eh. Um, and then I got uh, I had two Blu-rays that I bought from there. Uh, the first one was Delivers from Evil, which I'm happy that I've upgraded. I really like Delivers from Evil, and I'm really happy that I got got the chance to upgrade it. Uh, next is Shutter Island. I've never watched this before, but Scorsese is one of my favorite directors, so I'm sure that I won't be disappointed with a Scorsese horror movie. Just, just doesn't seem like something I'd be not like. Up next, um, I got this for like five bucks, I think it was, and it intrigued me. Uh, this was from Target, and this was The Alien Files. And the reason why this intrigued me was because it had uh, Ghosts of Mars on it, which was a John Carpenter flick, and I'd never heard of it. I'd never heard of it, and I was like, how did this Carpenter flick fall under my radar? So I, I got it, and I was like, eh, I mean, how bad could they be? So uh, I, I don't have any main, many alien flicks, so this is a good addition, too. Um... Up next is another as a carnival movie that I that I got pretty decent reviews from you know people that I trust so um, it's a horror comedy and that is the Funhouse Massacre it's got Robert England in it um, I really like this cover it's got reversible cover it's a Screen Factory release 
Um, not seen it yet, but it, I heard good things about it, so looking forward to it. Alright, I'll just get to the movies that my brother gave me. Um, these are these are movies that he just gave me because he upgraded all of these to Blu-ray. So um, that's The Others, which is a great haunted house movie. Um, this has two discs. It's one of those things where it's the t two second disc special edition. It, it kind of flips open like this. First disc is the movie. Um, and Village of the Damned, he upgraded to the Screen Factory release. I've never seen this through its entirety. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's just a basic release. I'm looking forward to watching that one. Up next is Phantasm, which I actually had watched the day before that he got the upgraded to the Blu-ray of this. Um, wish I would have watched it on Blu-ray, but it was a just a dreamlike movie. It was phenomenal. Up next is uh, Cloverfield, which was a great found footage horror film or thriller horror film, sci-fi, all of the above. Um, great movie. Um, and then up last but not least is Creepshow. Um, this is get kind of this uh, this is a snapper case. Super fun movie, super enjoyable. I really liked it. Um, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So basically now, now basically I had two friends who sent me things. Um, so this one goes out to Jeremy. If you don't know him, he's uh, NES Ruler Twenty One. I think is is your name. If if it's wrong, please post it down below in the comments. If if I got that wrong, I'm sorry, Jeremy. If I got it wrong, um, he sent me two films. The first one's Private Vice's Public Virtues, which is a uh, you know, it's a uh, I believe it's an Italian film. I, I'm actually t recording this really late at night. And I'm super tired, so I'm kind of forgetting all these things. Um, but this was a super hard to get film, and this is kind of like one of those movies that was just very um, popular because it was so polarizing and just got some interesting things on it. So, kind of curious to see what that's like. Um, up next is uh, Burial Ground, which uh, was one of the movies that uh, Jeremy sent me, and also one of the movies that my brother got me, for, or that me and my brother watched during our horror marathon. And, um, yeah, this one's pretty cool because it's got this, and um, it's, it's, you know, it's just a one-disc Blu-ray, but then it's got the, the reversible cover art, which got that. Um, yeah, so I'm really intrigued, really excited to, uh, I really like owning this movie. It's, it was a guilty pleasure type movie. It's, it's a pretty poorly made film, but honestly, it's got good gore, and it's, it's fun. Um, up next, actually, the first movie that I got sent to me at all was from Tur. It was Turi, and um, that was for Lucio Fulci's The Beyond, the Grindhouse release of it. I was, I was super happy to be getting this because I've heard nothing but good things about it, and I've not had the chance to watch it yet. Um, and so yeah, the 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 release for this is just phenomenal. I do think it has reversible cover art. Um, no, it actually doesn't. But it's got special features, and it's got the feature film, and it's got, um, you know, it's got different things in there. Um, really, really cool release, and it, it, you know, it comes with the CD and everything. Which I'm, thank you for sending this to me. I'm actually going to be watching this tomorrow night, so uh, with my brother. So I'm really excited to be watching that one. Um, and then, last but not least, um, that he sent me, Turi sent me again, is the Mutilator. Which actually, Tori, I'm, I, I'm, Tori, I'm forgetting your, um, your, um, your name on here. So if you could please post that down below on the on the uh, comments section and let me know so that I could uh, look in the comments section, people, so I could figure out what um, what your what your name is, so people could follow you. So I, I really do appreciate these. Um, pretty good price too. And I, I, this is another one that me and my brother watched during our. Um, marathon video and it was super fun just such a blast um, yeah so basically I have a couple more movies uh, a couple of these things that I uh, pretty much got from my grandmother for Christmas um, first off I just kind of just stole this one because I know she's never going to watch it and it's never been opened before and that is the terror don't even know anything about it. I just know that it's um, a film by Roger Corman and it stars Jack Nicholson and Boris Karloff. So, 
I'm pretty excited to watch that movie. Um, I don't watch many 60s movies. They're just not that interesting to me. But I'm, I'm really wanting to stretch my, you know, my horizons there. Um, up next is animated horror movie, uh, Monster House. Kind of a kid, it definitely a kids horror movie. Uh, this is the 3D version. I'm really looking forward to seeing this in 3D and stuff to see what it's like. Should be fun. Another 3D kids horror movie, and that is Hotel Transylvania. Um, I'll be doing this for my body bags review here in a couple weeks. We're doing the animated theme week, and uh, spoiler alert, I'll be doing that one. But yeah, this is a three disc. Um, yeah, just super fun movie, and I kind of have it because Selena Gomez is in it and Adam Sandler and. I've watched a couple, a good bit of it before, and I thought it was really fun. So, <clears throat> next one up is the uh, the Synapse release of the Dorm the Drip Blood. This is a combo pack, so you know it's got the Blu-ray and DVD. And the Synapse kind of has this 2017 catalog in here, which uh, includes, you know, on the front of it is Phenomena, which is my number one movie that I'm looking forward to getting in 2017. So. Um, I cannot wait for the Synapse Blu-ray release of it. The regular Blu-ray release, not the not the Steelbook. Um, but the Pranks is the alternate title for um, for the Dorm of Drip Blood. The other title is Death Dorm. I do like Death Dorm the best as the title, but the Dorm of Drip Blood is definitely my second favorite. I the second time I watched this, I watched this with my brother the last a couple weeks ago, and. This is, again, a, a very solid 80s slasher movie. I, I, I think it's really good. Um, up next is a movie called Burn Witch Burn. This is a movie that me and my brother had kind of as a running joke. It's like um, I was getting this for Christmas to unwrap. Uh, basically what happens is me and my grandmother and my brother, we all know what we're getting. You know, We kind of order them or kind of tell her what to order. And then we just kind of open them up that way. We at least know what she's getting us, and she, she's like, we're not going to be disappointed. We know what we're getting. Um, and, yeah, the, I'm like, we're like, what is pe are people going to think? I mean, normal you know, people who just casually watch horror movies going to think whenever I open, burn, witch, burn. You know, it's just such a hilarious title to, um, to think of. Um, opening and this has actually a reversible cover too which I like equally as well I think it's phenomenal um, yeah I'm excited to watch this movie too um, and then last but not certainly not least is a screen factory of black Christmas this has the uh, the slip cover and everything like that um, I really am uh, kind of disappointed in the um, the transfer for this I know they said that it says on the cover that they just they wanted it to be grainy because that's how people saw it in theaters, but I just kind of wanted a really good transfer to it. I don't know. You know, the thing wasn't that good, and then this wasn't that good, and I just kind of disappointed in, in uh, those Scream Factory releases there. And then my last releases at all of the, of the my last pickups um, actually were my brother's Christmas presents to me. Um, the first one here is A Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. Now, this is one of the first horror movies that I, slasher movies that I ever watched whenever I was in, like, love with slasher movies. So, this one here was just, I was in love with, I was love the fact that he picked this up for me. And, um, yeah, it's just a regular Blu-ray, but the Blu-ray transfer looks phenomenal. This was a TV slasher movie from 1981. A very solid watch for me. It's very atmospheric. It's very good. It's got great characters for me, and it's it's just really cool revenge tale. Um, yeah. And then the next one up here is a '70s movie, and not sure if this was a made my top 15 or not. Probably would have. Um, I definitely need to give this another rewatch, and that is a Town the Dreaded Sundown. Now this stars Ben Johnson. This is a Screen Factory release. Didn't even know that. Um, and this is this has a. Uh, this has a reversible cover with the Evictors, um, which is just kind of a, uh, a movie that's on the DVD of this, and I don't know much about that movie. I just know that it has Jessica Harper, who is the main character from the, uh, the Suspiria, which you can see there. Um, just curious to re-watch Town of the Dreaded Sundown. I know I really liked it the first time I watched it, and it was you know, pretty fun, so... And then, uh, this is actually wasn't the one that my brother got me, but I ended up picking up the new Town of the Dreaded Sundown once he got that for me, because it was like $4, so I was like, eh, what the hell, I just picked it up on Prime, so, 
Um, yeah, and that completes my whole collection for this month. It was a big haul. Apologize, it's probably going to be a long as hell video, but I'm glad that I got this done and I got it all in one piece. So um, I'm going to go now. I'm really tired, but as always, feel free to let me know what some of you thought about it. I know this was a massive amount of pickups, but just let me know your thoughts on it. And um, <coughs> subscribe if you haven't. Uh, please, please like the video if you liked it. And um, yeah, just thanks guys for tuning in. Have a great night. And. Um, Next video is probably going to be some random review of a movie I haven't decided yet of what. Uh, probably going to be a movie that my brother owns here so that I can kind of do some of his movies that, you know, I haven't seen, that I haven't seen in a while. So, but yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. Have a good night.